and Brendan, Ryan, Massimo, Rolf, Derek, and Tyler. Uh, we're the investment uh, group dealing with. Okay, we want to just give you a quick agenda. We're going to talk about the background of the team, business concerns, assumptions, enterprise value, um, investments, and decision and some of the concerns we have. We're going to talk about throughout and some of the ideas we want to have um, in the end decision. We have some concerns and some conditions. So let's get started. Uh, the background on the investment opportunity is uh, franchise in Spain. Uh, 16 stores in five years, exit strategy in seven. Um, fast food sector, target locations, street malls, supermarkets, airports, universities, military bases, and theme parks. So if you look at the background of the sector, it's a constant mature market in the US, highly competitive and low margins. So it's going to be difficult. Um, Proven success model in the U.S., retail business, uh, overall net sales rising at about 5%. Um, the only problem we have with this and our concern and our main concern throughout this presentation is that Spain is not the U.S. So that's going to be a difficult thing to overcome. Spain's different. Um, and that's not what they, that you guys are doing in your assumptions with your investments. So let's take a look at the team. Um, we've got two engineers. We think that's going to be good for cutting costs. Um, Engineer one and engineer two. <laughs> there, we've got a marketing guy. We've got a guy with uh, franchise experience, so he knows the model. Um, real estate experience, location is going to be key, so that's really important. Um, no financing person, that's good for us. We want to put our own guy in there, and that's going to be a condition in the contract. And you know, in order to make this match happen, um, we would like to see um, do they have experience in the Spanish market. It doesn't seem to show that they know that the Spanish market's going to be different for them when they're going forward. So that's some of our business concerns. Spanish culture is different from the U.S. I've said that already. I'm going to say it again. Um, fast food on the rise, but not as quickly as you would think in, like it is in the U.S. Um, no apparent seating in the stores. When people in, in Spain go to get a coffee, they sit down, they, they talk for two hours, and they get coffee all the time, but they don't take it with them. Um, you don't see that happening like you see in the U.S. So according to that assumption, we're going to probably need to take some um, conditions. You guys are probably going to have to take a haircut. Um, seven year investment period. These are the assumptions um, we're making. Common stock at $600,000, uh, 250 for the first round, 350 uh, for our investment. Um, there's a five years for, for uh, the, the entrepreneurs, but we're going to ignore that because it doesn't add up. Um, ambitious growth, not realistic. And like I said before, you're going to have to take a haircut on that. Um, we have investor desired return of 30%. Um, that's, that's a lot, but that's what we promised our investors, so we have to stick with that. Um, US, um, US sector indicators that you're using, again, we don't see how that applies to Spain. Um, so we're going to take that as an assumption as we, roll, as we look forward, but we're going to discount your assumption on, the, on the, the revenue piece. Expected unit sales. This is really ambitious growth. You're expecting uh, to have 27 sales, given some, uh, assuming four euros purchase, eight hours a day, four employees. And then you're gonna expand that per store to 56 um, units in the seventh year. That's really ambitious growth within each store, not to mention in two stores, uh, having 27 units um, per hour. So let's look at the enterprise value. We first, we did um, evaluation using comparables. Um, as you can see here, um, we have the revenue piece that we, uh, that we calculate, and we take the, um, the average for the sector that you know, we were using before. Again, we're using the assumption that this is US numbers, and it applies. And then we do the same thing for the EBITDA. We don't like this because in the sector, you're going to have some some growth, like a bubble effect that we talked about in our other class. Um, that you know they're they're all going to have this effect. So if there's any bubble effect, you know you're not going to be able to take it uh, take it into account. So we don't like that valuation. However, we took the venture we took a look at the venture capital method. Um, some assumptions: uh, median for all firms in this sector, discount rate of 50 percent. That's our risk factor and our investment return included. Post valuation, we calculated 700,000. At the end, we could look at Excel files if you guys have any questions. Um, pre valuation, 350. Um, our required ownership would be 50%, but we're only getting 30 in this, so it's not going to work using this venture capital valuation. Um, so if we move into the investment valuation, 
Um, we take a look at the NPV. <coughs> Same assumptions we're taking here, 50% discount because of the risk and the required rate of return. Um, terminal value, we calculate using 3% because after the 7, we think it's going to plateau. We don't expect that kind of, uh, that kind of growth to stay. And then we think that's a stable growth analysis. We think that's a reasonable assumption. Um, equity free cash flows. NPV is a negative 637. I don't know if you guys see that negative sign there, but you know that's not going to work for us either. We can't have, um, we can't be uh, losing money on this. And the same thing happens in the APV evaluation. Um, discount rates high, growth rate plateau, stable growth rate. However, we're using unlevered uh, free cash flows here. We've got the NPV at a negative 436. The NPV financing, we get the 26. Um, positive, however, it still totals up to below our requirements. Um, so that brings us to our decision. Our investment decision, it's not really convincing the numbers that you're presenting to us. It's either insufficient information because you didn't do an analysis of the Spanish market, so we don't have really good numbers to work with, or it's a bad investment. So we're going to lean on the bad investment side because it looks like a mature sector, and our assumptions don't fit the geographic context. You can't cookie cut one business model, place it in Spain, change it into Spanish and think it's going to work. Um, so we would like to see some more research. We don't want to discourage you. We think it might be a possible uh, investment. However, we're going to have to look into the Spanish market. We're going to have to get better numbers and analysis. Uh, we want to see breakdowns of types of stores. Huge range of stores. You go from 11 square meters to 150 square meters. What's the breakdown of that? What are the operating uh, efficiencies that you're going to get from getting a bigger or smaller store? What, we don't know. We want to see more breakdown. Um, also break down the growth model by showing some detail. Uh, who's the competition going to be? Are they growing at 5%? There's no analysis. Um, investment needs accounting for uh, multiple scenarios. Worst case, best case. You guys have the best case scenario? We want to see a worst case scenario too. Um, some of the demands we're going to have if we do take this investment in the future is going to be the CFOs handpicked by ourselves. We've already talked about that. We want to see you guys put, get some more skin in the game take on a bigger stake, so if anything goes wrong, you guys lose money too. Um, we want 50% of board seats, we want control, and we're going to take control and stake in preferred change. We're going to mention that too. Standard contract with our firm, is um, need board permission, selling shares, getting new investors, merge um, or sell the company, sale purchase major assets, movement of human capital, non-compete clauses, convertible preferred shares, and mandatory redemption rights, meaning that we're going to take our money first. Um, thank you.